Hey guys, hi there, it's Nigel here again. Uh, it's been a little while. Um, I'm sorry, I've been very busy doing lots and lots of fiddly little bits and pieces that need a lot of time to dry and everything in between the um, in between what I'm doing. So, you know, it's sort of 10 minutes work and wait for half an hour and five minutes work and wait for an hour and stuff like that. So, but I am getting there and I'm getting close to putting up another couple of videos um, very, very shortly, probably over this weekend. Um, today is Friday, it's Friday March the 23rd 2019 and I'm bringing you some updates and some bad news I'm afraid. Um, so updates, what am I doing at the moment? I'm working on this Airscale instrument panel for the Lancaster from, um, or from Airscale and uh, go look at their website airscale.co.uk and um, you'll, you'll see I've done a review on this and I've also done a review on the Liberator panel, the B24. Um, I also did a giveaway on the B24 Liberator panel and that went off to um, to Kenneth Camp and hopefully we'll be uh, putting that in his kit as we speak. Um, I'm working away on the Lancaster. I've had to do a... I'll do another video but um, basically the table, I did all the wood grain on the table if you remember and then realised that it's actually uh, too short so it needs to be extended so I'll show you all about that in another video um, not quite sure what to call that, I think I'll probably call it an upgrade it's, it's an upgrade isn't it, it's a modification to the kit um, and if you haven't already seen it there's the um, pretty much complete now scratch built seat and everything with all the rear framing in and everything and the um, and the pipe work so uh, yeah lots and lots of work going on there's not a single part of this kit I don't think that I've worked on yet without carving drilling filling or something or other so yeah a lot of work going on with that um, oh, and there's also the uh, the Bombay roof which is obviously this is a dam buster so um, there's modifications gone on to the Bombay roof with uh, certain bits and pieces removed and um, if you look there, those holes are made and they're made to look very, very thin because basically what you do is you cut out all the back. So you can see that you can make that look like a very thin sheet of metal when you look across the holes rather than a, a hole drilled in a piece of thick plastic. Um, much like those holes there do, you can see it just looks like a piece of thick plastic with a hole, whereas these look like a very thin sheet of metal. Um, but watch the videos on that, there's some much better images than, uh, than I can show you now. Um, so yeah, to wrap this up, um, oh, the Build Along is going to be starting probably Monday, Tuesday. Um, the guy that suggested all this, I'm going to, he shall remain nameless unless he wants to come on and say something within the comments. The guy that suggested doing this, uh, he's actually based in Canada and as soon as he went to get the kit it sold out I hope that's nothing to do with me if it is I'm sorry but um, yeah so he's not actually getting his kit it's due in on the 25th which is Monday so um, give him a chance to sort of get a feel for it and do the washing and that I don't want anybody falling behind basically um, so when we start the build along then uh, then I'll, you know whatever day I start it on then the week after I'll do it again and maybe go a little bit faster to catch up so that it's on a Saturday or something because I respect a lot of you guys have got lives and family and you know the only free time you get to look at the internet might be on a Saturday so um anyway there we are for, for that so but I don't want to start this until Rob's had a chance to um to get his kit and have a look at it um also I'm going to have a review of this coming up with the decals decals the mask, actually I've got decals for it as well. So with the mask, the decals and the big head set along with the kit. So that'll be quite a, a monster review. I've been asked by a few people now to do that. So um, keep you guys happy, I'll do it. Another good thing, I've just looked, just literally just now um, on the computer. I've got 1,900 subscribers. So wow, amazing guys. Um, it's like I say, it's the 23rd today. or 22nd, 22nd, sorry. Um, of, of March and I would like to hit 2,000 by the end of this month I've been saying that since the beginning of the month so if I can hit 2,000 by the end of March I'll be really really grateful so if there's anything you guys can do to share like mention me in your club or on your forums or whatever um, I would love to hit the 2,000 subscribers by the end of this month um, so what's that that's going to be like what's that 10 a day 
yeah, 111, 12 a day. At the moment, I'm averaging about 10 a day subscribers. So, yes, uh, it's uh, it's good. Um, bad news. I'm afraid something's happened uh, on a personal level, um, physically, that's going to affect the way you see my films going forward. Um, this is something I've been trying to get around for many, many years. Uh, and I've not been able to do it. Um, it's been a really, really tough channel, a uh, channel challenge, and I've let myself down, I've let you down, um, and it's just basically all round pretty crap, really. Um, and I don't know how to tell you other than just come out and just say it. I bit all my nails off again. Bye.